Today we're going to be testing the Realme 3 with the MediaTek Helio P60 against the Motorola One Vision with the Samsung Exynos 9609. Which of these two mid-range devices will be faster? Well, let's find out. So we have the Realme 3 on the left hand side with the MediaTek P60. Uh, now just to be sure that this is actually the version with the P60, there are some versions with the P70, but this is the P60 version. On the right hand side we have the Motorola One Vision with the Exynos 9609. And at this moment, it looks like the Realme 3 has a lead there. It was the first into the 2048 test. And I was actually surprised there that the Exynos 96, and again now, we can see the Realme 3 is the first into the Bloom test. But when we see the Bloom test running here now, we can see one of the big differences between these two devices. Look at the density of those blues on the Realme 3 and that's because it's using a 720p display whereas the Motorola One Vision is using a full HD plus display as we are now into the SQL light test and look at that the Motorola One Vision really just tore its way through that SQL light test it the one Realme 3 had the lead there it was the first into that test but the One Vision was able to just absolutely destroy that test and it has now taken the lead as it goes first into the 2D gaming test now let's talk about the two processors that are in these devices the MediaTek Helio P60 has has four Cortex A73 cores and four Cortex A53 cores and the Mali G72 MP3 GPU. Now, funny enough, the uh, Octa-Core Exynos 9609 has exactly the same, four Cortex A73 cores and four Cortex A53 cores. However, the Cortex A73 cores are clocked at a higher clock frequency and the, uh, the A53 cores are clocked at a lower clock frequency. As we were saying that, it went through that 16 thread test and it's now gone into the 3D Unity test. Now, also interestingly enough is that the GPUs in both of these devices are the same, the Mali G72 MP3, a three core version. So really now we're gonna see as we go through this uh, Unity flyover, all a bit of stuttering there by the One Vision, that may have cost it a couple of seconds there uh, in the overall time there. We're gonna see as we go through this flyover, which of these devices is able to complete the test in the uh, best time. Now, as I've said many times before, this is on another pause there by the Motorola One Vision. That was not really very good. Now, as I've said many times before, this test is designed that every single frame needs to be rendered. It isn't done in such a way that it tries to make the maximum frame rate and drop frames. In this test, every single frame is rendered and so the longer it takes to get through the test the slower the actual overall frame rate and that's how we're able to judge the overall performance at the end of the video now as we're saying that both devices are going down to the valley they're both going to turn right now and we're going to see which one goes up to the sun first this is quite interesting it's neck and neck at this point who is going to see the sun first hard to call at this moment i think the motorola let's have a look as it goes up yes the motorola hit the sun there comes the real me three with the sun so it looks like at this moment as if the motorola is going to be able to complete this test slightly quicker this really could go down to the line though there's also the compression test to come after this who knows how it's going to turn out in the end the cars will see now very hard for these mid-range gpus to render we see this much faster on flagship devices much faster frame rate and there we go the first integration test is the motorola one vision there it is five six Seven is the other one going to go into the compression test. Come on, Realme 3. Yes, it's into the compression test as well. What we're going to see at the end here. Let's go nine. There we go. Come on, what is it? What is it? What's the final score? There we go. Three minutes and 16 seconds. The clock is still ticking. What's the final time going to be on the Realme 3? Let's see what the final time is. There we go. Three minutes and 25 seconds. Okay, let's break down those scores and see what happened. Okay, so as we saw there overall, the Motorola One Vision was the winner with 3 minutes and 16 seconds. And the Realme 3 came in at 3 minutes and 25 seconds. And of course, remember that the Motorola had a much higher resolution display. Now, when you look at the CPU times, 1 minute almost on the nose there for the Realme 3. And 50 seconds, so a 10 seconds, almost 10 seconds difference there between them in the CPU time. When we get to the mix time, which includes things like the blur test, that is 48.3, 48.5, so almost identical there. And the same again when we get to the GPU, 136. 1 minute 36 versus 1 minute 37. Of course, the difference there being that one is on a 720p display and the other is on a 1080p, 1080p display. So overall, when you have all that differences, the Motorola One Vision came in first with the Exynos 6909 with 3 minutes and 16 seconds. My name's Gary Sims. This is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget we also have a Twitter account, Speedtest underbar G. And well, I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one.